The following video is brought to you through the generous support of viewers like you. If you like this content, then please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. And for those who are in the position to donate, this channel thanks you. And so does this orange cat. We need to be the most diversityest of all of the Lady Wham and Doctor Who diversities as we can be! And the only way to do it is to hit that like button and bookmark this channel. They won't show it. I guess Twitter's on shadow banning people, probably. Maybe I might have been wrong about that one, but we're gonna talk about that in a second. First up, I am Mecca. We gotta talk about Lady Doctor Wham and Who people. Oh, Metro UK. Metro.co.uk is telling us that Doctor Who fans are speculating Ruth Madeley is going to be the first disabled Lady Wham and Doctor after a Russell T. Davies photo. Hold up. Hold up. Hi, Mecca here. Mecca here. Mecca here. I've been watching Doctor Who since, you know, the very early 80s, as far as I can remember anyway. Um... Couldn't the doctor just, I don't know, regenerate to, I don't know, fix any physical conditions and ailments? I'm not trying to be an ableist or anything, but I might think that a lovely actress in a wheelchair might be somebody they would consider for, I don't know, gender swapping tattoos. <laughs> Ah, Davros, because let's face it, what Doctor Who characters are, are classically already in a chair and they can't get up. It's the guy who's the granddaddy of all the Daleks, the father of all the Daleks, the creator, the master, the... Get on with it. Yes, get on with it. The, the ma not the master master, the master of the Daleks. Where am I going? I got distracted by the, by the bear. What happened? What's up with Nursey? Oh no, oh no. I don't want to see that. I don't want to read that. That's going to bring me down and that's going to distract my whole flow and my whole rhythm and my whole thing. So is she going to be the new doctor? Do we, do we know? Because he's got a few people that he's been tweeting about on Instagram. Is this my Instagram? I haven't used Instagram in forever, Z's. Okay, so he's just taking pictures with a lot of people. He's got pictures with a lot of people from this event. It was an event. They're just speculating on, oh, for crying out loud, are we really doing, we're doing this for clicks by saying, oh, the next doctor's going to be disabled in a whammon again. Well, it's not good enough. She's not a woman of color, thank you very much. And we all know how Twitter and how the wokier than thou zealots act. You have to, and nothing's ever gonna be good enough. It's not gonna be good enough to make her a woman. It's not gonna be good enough to make her a diverse woman. It's not gonna make her good enough to be Jodie Whittaker. They had to replace her and retcon her with, what was her name? Dr. Uh, Dr. Sassy Black Lady, I can't remember her name. Ruth? Joe Martin, Ruth, Dr. Ruth, replace the doctor with Dr. Ruth. What did she, did she, I want to call her Ruth. Was the character named Ruth? <laughs> so, of course, of course, the wokier than thou's are not going to be okay with another white woman. She's white. She, she's, she's kind of pale. They're, so they're going to be checking. They check diversities. You know they do. You know they do time ramps you know and, and their thing against we want more inclusion we want more that's why i'm like hey why not davros why not ge because gender swapping davros would be kind of stupid let's face it where's my wokemon button it's in my soundboard i gotta stretch while i pull it up and find it where is it gender swap that's a wokemon that's one of the wokemons and we did the wokemon intro earlier wokemon <laughs> That's when these movie studios go around collecting one of every color of the rainbow and one of every special disability or difference or, or, or gender identity even. Like that's getting to be the new thing because it's not good enough to be LGBTQ+. You gotta be LGBTQ+, and identify as a, as a Z, Zir, Zor, Zam something or other or else you're not enough. It's not good enough. It's never good enough, is it? So... Jody is set to bow out of the sci-fi series in an upcoming centenary a special, centenary special, ooh, which will air later this year. After playing the titular role since 2017, much to the uh, ring of the masses of internet and the support of loads of Twitter bots. Well, it's not yet been confirmed. See, we have Jody bots, we have Brie bots, we have all the bots that go around on this on this platform because let's face it. Please like the video if you liked it. 
If you didn't like it, keep your comments to yourself. No one asked you, Bree. Don't come and interrupt. We're talking about you later. We got news on why you might have made the director from that that new Vin Diesel. What is it? Fast X and Furious X times 10. You might have made him quit. I'm gone. Finished. Over. And that's what I'm going with because that's the only angle I got and interest in it. Well, it's not yet been confirmed. Who? I see what you did. Who is next in line to play the Time Lord? Fans are speculating the return, the returning showrunner Russell T. Davies he's given a huge clue by sharing a selfie with Ruth on his Instagram. Oh, this, this one's called Ruth. I'm looking at Ruth. That's why I want to say the name Ruth. She now joins the likes of David Tennant, Lydia West, and Alexander, who have been tipped for the role. David Tennant's not going to come back. He's just going to come back for a special. We love David Tennant. He would never do it because there's too many people who would just be like, Ree! You got rid of Joni just to come back. We don't like you. You're going to have that little demographic of those little Twitterotties. So she's probably a lovely actress. I don't think she's going to be the star of The Doctor. How would she run? Doctor Who is nothing but people running in and out of the TARDIS constantly. They just run into the TARDIS. They run out of the TARDIS. They go into the TARDIS. They come back out of the TARDIS. Coming soon to BBC America, a bunch of a and a TARDIS. Watch them going into the TARDIS. Watch them walking out of the TARDIS. Popping in and out of random rooms. Seriously, this is like Bugs Bunny and Elmer Fudd in the waiter sketch. Pick up pie. Roger. Your pie, sir. Do you like action, suspense, and intrigue? Well, too bad. Watch them talk about their feelings. Well, at least there's Captain Jack. Coming to whichever popular streaming service you happen to subscribe to. Or not, who cares? Obsessive compulsive diversity, probably, probably. So will the new Lady Dr. Whammon be Timmy Turbo? Will not be Timmy Turbo because he's a white male, isn't he? He's probably a straight white male too. And they don't like that. They don't like that. That's not diversity enough for them. And I gotta find him. Well, you saw him at the end of the turn him on and on into pressure clip. So, <laughs> but hey, if we're gonna get anybody, it might as well be Timmy. Timmy Turbo, you know, the guy who just wheeled himself around. We, we called him that because, let's face it, they didn't give him any, any sort of character development. They didn't give him a personality or any reason to be in a wheelchair or anything. Just representation, diversity. Timmy! Ah, nice. And that is the thing of the thing, and that's our news on the new Doctor Who thing. Please insert the people going in and out of the TARDIS commercial, probably. And uh, I am going back to my live chat. That should pout it out to eight minutes. Don't you go anywhere. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye! I've had an upgrade. Okay, you're out of my room. Seriously, get out. Wank.